Okay, here's another uh, computer simulator. 8 bit computer again. Um, Z80 Mon, which comes with something called Z80 ASM, which is different from some other assemblers called Z80 ASM <coughs> without a dash in them. And this particular one had a nice uh, debugging kind of monitor that uh, <coughs> shows the uh, decoded uh, mnemonics of the assembly language code, shows the memory uh, locations, and uh, it also has something that the front panel on the Z8, uh, on the um, MC simulator didn't have. It had uh, uh, the programmable output, the memory locations, uh, memory addresses, and the data, but did not have the, uh, the flags like uh, zero and carry and the registers. And when we um, run this program, the thing that makes it jump around and do different things like change directions of the, of the LED lights and the back and forth uh, blinky light display uh, is the fact that we're able to compare and count things uh, in, the, in the program. Um, the direction is the C register. You see C equals 55 or C equals 0. Um, C equals 55 means to, to the right to rotate to the right and um, when it's zero, it means for it to rotate to the left. So you can watch that um, C register. There's A, F, B, C, D, E, H, and L. You can see the C register flipping back and forth in directions. Um, when the count or the rotation of the lights gets in one direction or another, that flips and turns the direction the other direction. <coughs> the way those kind of things are compared um, uh, are with the... Uh, uh, carry and zero register from the status registers in the Z80 or the 8080 CPU. Um, you will see in the D register that the binary digit, you see the one rotating right and left, just like the LEDs do on the actual uh, panel uh, MC simulator. Um, in the program, we can compare a number, for example, did, did, did a number uh, reach uh, 255, which is uh, all the way in one direction or the other, or 128, I'm sorry, in this case, uh, for uh, uh, this program, compare that to what's in the accumulator. And when you compare, uh, does this equal 128, uh, a number that you provide, uh, does the accumulator equal 128? When you do that comparison, you cause either the zero flag to get set or cleared. In other words, not zero or zero. Uh, if the comparison is true, if, uh, if we say, hey, is 128 the number in the accumulator? Yes, it is. Well, then you got zero. Zero flight is set. If it's not zero, then we get NZ, not zero. Uh, if it's not true. It's like a not true to true flag for uh, the NZ and Z. Um, based on that, we can do a, a jump on JP to another memory location into a, another subroutine or another part of the program based on something that was counted, something that was variable, something that changed. Um, so there you have it, the, uh, the Knight Rider program. Uh, and another way to look at it more in depth, uh, I wanted to be able to see the actual uh, um, registers, uh, in particular the uh, uh, C which is the direction, and the D, which is the position of the LED lights as we rotate back and forth in both directions. There was a little bit more of a delay uh, uh, subroutine in this program. I took it out because this simulator is only running at 2 kilohertz, and to wait for the count of, uh, there was an outer and two inner delay loops in the program. On the uh, front panel, um, MC Sim, um, it runs just fine with those delays, and you flip the switches in the, up, um, the user programmable output switches on the far left on that panel, and you can, you can slow the lights down, which was needed so you could actually see them rotating back and forth. But in this sim here, um, at 2 kilohertz, it takes forever for those uh, delay loops uh, uh, to count down.
and exit out to outer loop and whatever before uh, anything really happens. So if I took those delays out, which is what I did now, then we can actually just watch um, the lights go back and forth in the D register and then direction flipping in the C register. And we can also see, as those comparisons occur at the upper uh, right, you see the uh, carry and the zero flags registers. Um, you see the zero flipping between zero and not zero, and the carry flipping between uh, uh, carry and not carry. We're not using the carry flag, we are using the zero flag in this program, even though the carry flag is occurring. Uh, there you go, I thought it was a little more insightful to that program. Uh, different way to look at it, kind of neat, kind of geeky, kind of blinky lighting, <coughs> and even more depth uh, into uh, how it works. I thought it was cool. So, see ya.